do we incorporate our spiritual lives into our natural endeavors? Mm, that's a good question. You know, the, the, you know, a lot of times well, in different belief systems, there's this idea of like we're a spiritual being having a human experience or something of that nature, where it's like when you keep your spirit kind of first, it keeps everything else in perspective. For me, you know, in my beliefs, um, I'm, I'm always trying to access wisdom. Like I, my faith and the way I believe uh, causes me to, to anticipate I can make wise decisions that lead to unbelievable futures for me, for the people I love, for the people I'm serving. And so that idea of how do we integrate the spirit with the natural in a work function for me it's you know i'll use fasting fasting is you know part of my belief system it's part of the health system now we we're talking earlier people do intermittent fa intermittent fasting which is just a very physical kind of thing but by shaping how their intake it alters what their output is and so you know i believe that for our spirits as well when we're fasting and I want to I want to have good things being put in so that then my output can be um, I can be a benefit to others I can have discernment I'm just not naturally discerning I have decent judgment but I can have poor judgment so I, I think how do I let myself kind of be led by the spirit if you will in making decisions, in choosing a course of action, in responding to a situation. And again, whatever your belief system is, there's an access that is intuitive, that is sometimes people say, I got a, I got, a, I got a gut check. You know, it's like, ooh, I just have this thing. And I want that to be kind of honed accurately because in and of itself, you know, our own gut isn't um, accurate just because it's our own gut. It's usually very self-serving. So when we get it kind of fine-tuned to being mindful, whether through the spiritual practice of meditation, prayer, fasting, reading of scripture, holy text of days gone by, as my friend Covey would say, the ancient texts, um, those things that kind of give us some new framework for thinking, kind of get, purges of all our selfishness and the all the desires of ourself that we can be service-minded, others-minded, living a life of sacrifice for the benefit of our communities. You know, those all are really great business principles. You know, the further we go, and our society the last couple decades has been all about how does your business serve communities? What is the benefit you bring to the society you live in? And you know, those are all spiritually rooted principles, service, at least that's how I envision or how I think of my spiritual life. It's for um, the benefit of others. So, you know, I think in our, in our work life, being thoughtful of how we're fine tuning our spirit is really essential for us making great decisions for our business futures. So, that's just an idea and a way that I process it. So I'd love to hear yours.